Last year, we got our hands on the sketchiest car in the world, an old EF Civic with a V18 swap and 325 turbocharged wheel horsepower. We bought this death trap because of a drag race challenge from the humble mechanic. Despite our raw power to weight advantage, we lost two of our three races against Charles's Audi S4 because of inconsistent driving. And despite the danger this rolling IED posed to our well-being, or maybe because of it, the series did well with our subscribers. So now we're back for another competition with Charles. Charles, so happy to have you back. Dude. We learned nothing from the first one because we're doing this again. We were so miserable and we're doing it again. Idea. Yeah. It's a terrible idea. Well, so what are we racing this time? Because I see you still have a German car and unfortunately yep. we still have a Subaru in our shop. Well, uh, I was thinking on the way here and a lot of people suggested maybe we flip and you guys did German and we did Japanese, but I have to be honest, I don't think you stand a chance. No, I would agree hard. I think you'd get yeah. crushed. Be, I like, would be miserable. Yeah. <laughs> In addition to hating yourself, yeah. you would lose horribly. So that that to me is out. Okay, yeah. We need some some kind of level playing field. Something that both of us, all three of us know. What about nothing. boats? <laughs> We could do boats. <laughs> we do boats. I don't think we should do boats. Okay. Uh, okay. How about we do American cars? Do you guys know anything about American cars? No. Not a single I, nothing. I know I've never owned one. Yeah. Uh, so I also know absolutely nothing about American cars. Okay. Does this level the playing field? I think that significantly levels the playing mm -hmm. field. You're still obviously a better mechanic than both of us can. Yeah, but it's a low bar. American so. cars are pretty simple to work on. You know, push That's rods I, and okay. I. They okay. don't have as many computers. One cam is what I know. Sometimes. I think, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, or no cams at all. They, we should figure out the rules. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so to recap, American Muscle, budget, $7,500. We've gone up from 5,000 last time. Great Inflation. idea. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they've gotta be relatively put together cars, relatively safe, and we're doing a drag race. Do you guys feel like the competition was maybe a little short that last go around? What do you mean? Like, it was over quick, and we had slow cars. I feel well, like if we have fast cars, it was only speak over, for yourself. Yeah, yeah, it was only over quick because we had a 12.7 on after, the After the event. Well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. So you want to, what, add more events? How about, like, an autocross? Okay. okay. I, I think I can get behind that. Yeah. American muscle cars are known for how well they handle Very an nimble. autocross course. Strangely, they have a classic yeah, American cam. car class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like it's classic the, American muscle. Yeah. So we can't just do two events, though. So I'm gonna throw this one kind of a curveball. What if we also did a rally cross? Mm. Maybe it's have... the same as autocross, just on the dirt. <laughs> Are we using the same tire? I mean, what do you think? I think honestly, we're not gonna have budget for two sets of tires. That's true. Uh, if we're trying Probably to buy three a couple... sets of tires, if you're <laughs> going true. all in. Yeah. So what if we just run what we brung? One car, all three events. Okay. Call it done. Right. All right, and so it's me and Ben versus you. And I left a spot here for my homie, Pauly D, who just couldn't make it up today, so. Oh, Paul. So what's the time frame? Four weeks. See you in a month. Let's do it. All right, no $1,500 GT500s, okay? <laughs> That's, it's not on the rule board, so I'm just saying. What do you think? This is a piece of crap. Okay, well that's not a nice way to talk about somebody's car, but I got an American car. <laughs> no, you didn't. No, 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 no. That's not a muscle car. No, it's American. No, 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 no. Eh, four cylinder. What? They don't sell cars here. What are you talking about? Yeah, they do. No, this is a junkyard. They sell car parts. True. We could probably find an LS out of one of these. Do you really think that anyone's left an LS in one of these cars? Maybe. What about B6. this? It's a, it's a truck. Ooh. Is that a big motor? Uh, maybe not, no. Do you really think they're gonna have them here? I mean, they have everything here. They've never not had something. I guess that's true. Hey, man, um, do you guys sell cars? Uh, like, sell cars. You like, know? yeah, like a Mustang or Corvette or... I'll tell you what, we can't sell your car, but we can sell you the parts for it. Yeah, do you sell LS engines? We can sell you some upgrades for the LS motor. Okay, well. We'll take you up on that later. Right. Yeah, thanks. Is this an LS? No. Is this an LS? Uh, no. Uh. <laughs> what, did you think they picked him out already? Maybe. Ben, am I an LS? 
No, you're not. Okay. Ben, I found it. What do you think? That's like 10 times our budget. Yeah, but it's American. I think it still does run and drive? Probably not. Uh, is this an LS? No. Ben, is this an LS? <sighs> it's closer. Got the throttle body in the right spot? Oh, no. <laughs> this is what, LQ iron block probably? Yeah, and boat anchors. Yeah, but you can put a bunch of boost through them. We can do better. Okay, what about this, Ben? Is this an LS? That's a Volvo, Ben. I think I found something on Facebook, though. Yeah, what'd you find? Ooh. What does he want for it? Uh, we can probably talk him down. Shoot him a text. here in rural Tennessee, rural. We found a pretty good deal on a car out here. A little bit sketch, mildly sketch, uh, but we got a good deal. It's been listed for like three months, so the demand is low for this vehicle. Well, the road was just blocked by a man with a, uh, a tractor. From like 1920. A very cool tractor. It is awesome, honestly. Yeah, this is, uh, I mean, for a second there, I, it, we thought we were getting I, I literally went to fight or flight. I started like looking around for like yeah. a second shooter. Yeah. Well, look at that. It's like a F Ford F1. No, that's a Chevy. Sorry. Oh, of course it's a Chevy. How does the underside look, though? Uh, it's a little rough. We can probably make it work. I haven't looked at the underside there. The power steering's got a little weak, but that's not too bad. But you can see it's leaking down there. Not, not too bad though. Like pretty typical, honestly. You ever have any problems with it? With anything? You know the floating gas tank. Yeah. We repaired it, but the gauge don't work. But the gas cool. gauge doesn't work. It's in first, yeah. The motor sounds healthy, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you smell the oil and stuff? It's torquey. Yeah. It is an LS, but... Cracks in the dash. But yeah, the dash I, I knew about. I didn't know about the windshield. Dude, yeah, I mean, this is honestly, like, rather marginal. All right, so you want it? Yeah, All right. All right. Yeah, five? Yeah. Fuel in. Fuel in, I'll probably. Well, so the bank wouldn't give us hundreds. They didn't have hundreds. So we're gonna have to hand him this. 5,000, here's our proof. 5,000 is what we paid for it. Well, we've done it. For some reason, that right there is our Camaro. Oh boy, what have we done? Well, I never thought I'd say it, but this is our new to us 1998 Chevrolet Camaro Z28 Catfish. Well, yes it is, Ben, and boy, how have you ever caught yourself such a handsome looking catfish? It's one of the ugliest cars I think oh, I have ever owned. Lord. You're hating. You're being a hater, Ben. There's, yeah, there's a reason these, you don't really see these around anymore. Um, yeah, because anyone who owns one ain't getting rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we got one, bud. <laughs> Man, somehow. Ben, can I tell you about the specs of this here fine? Oh, let's hear it. Fine American vehicle? All right. Back in 1998, this was the second car after the C5 Corvette to get the uh, LS motor. This is an LS1, 346 cubic inch, 5.7 liter. It dropped 95 pounds off the front end of this car uh, compared to the LT4 iron block, which preceded it. Uh, <laughs> what else do we know about this vehicle? It ran zero to 60 in a scant 5.2 seconds. Uh -huh. And it did the quarter mile in Oh, they're about 13 and a half seconds. 
That's like a stock STI. That was basically what we was doing with the uh, with the Civic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The entire time we were driving. Yeah, yeah. Now. So <laughs> if we were able to squeeze any more performance out of this vehicle, I think we'll be sitting pretty. Well, we have twenty five hundred dollars left. But before we squeeze any extra power out, I think we probably have to figure out what's broken first. Yeah, there's some stuff that's not so good, but let's get inside the garage and we can go over it. So we've got the beautiful Camaro into the garage now, and it is, again, I think it's a fantastic car, but it's not without its flaws, and I'm gonna show some of those to you right now. One of the very first things I noticed on my drive home is that the steering wheel, besides being kind of shaped funny, uh, also is constantly adjustable. Uh, I don't know if we were missing a bolt or something, or there's a very loose bushing on the steering rack, but uh, I don't think it's supposed to adjust like this. On the outside of the car, it's quite obvious that the windshield needs to be replaced because it is cracked more than any windshield I've ever seen before. And also, these wiper blades are multi-piece. Another thing I noticed on the drive home was the whole car was shaking a bunch. And I think we might have isolated the issue. The rear wheel bearings seem pretty not good. Also, the dashboard looks like a pile of potato chips. I mean, I can almost pick one of these up. Oh, yep. Should I leave it? I'm gonna leave it. T56s are known for their kind of truck-like uh, shifter feel, but also the boot is uh, kind of coming with the shifter. <laughs> it's, it's honestly, the shift feel is not that bad. Uh, yeah, and this is just easy access to the shifter assembly. We've also got uh, this pretty cool feature. Um, in order to uh, get maximum weight savings, uh, Chevy only installed, I guess, one uh, climate control knob. So if you know you want to change like the temperature, for example, you just pop it out, move it over here. Uh, then you know where, where do you want it to blow? You want it on your feet, okay? And then you go back over to your fan control, and boom, Bob's your uncle. But thank goodness we have window tint. Another cool feature of our car in particular is this replica Trans Am hood, uh, which has these Ram air nostrils to suck in a bunch of cold air and send it straight into the intake, except that this is not a Ram air car, so it is sending it nowhere. Also, the engine is, uh, has a little bit of an oil leak in a couple places, and the serpentine belt. I'm a little scared to look underneath this car, but I feel like we have to. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we have a new fuel filter. That's positive. It's pretty rusty, I'm not gonna lie. Looks like the trans is leaking a little bit. The uh, oil pan is leaking a lot. It hasn't had to have a ton of work done. Oh, this stuff actually looks good. Like the joints actually look good. The exhaust, um, someone just <laughs> literally just chopped it off right here at the back, at the diff. This is honestly super cool. The way this, like the bottom of the bumper curls up into like a V-mounted radiator setup with this like little flap here. So it's like, it's scooping this air in, this high pressure air, cause it's down low on the front bumper. Pretty, pretty good engineering. Yeah, it really is. Oh, yeah, that's a bent wheel. See that? Holy cow, yeah, yeah. wow. That's... Oh my gosh, dude. Well, okay, so this is like peeling off. That's crazy. So wheel, wheel balance is definitely what's causing the shake. Yeah. This AC compressor, we can probably pull this out. It's kind of crusty anyway. Oh wow. Does it work? Do we know? Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll take it out. It kind of hurts to do that, but that's gonna be a lot of dead weight. This exhaust also looks factory, like stock cats and whatnot. We could probably just cut it off. So some more weight reduction here and factory weight reduction, these T-tops. Oh my gosh. Ben, Ben, wait. Put it back on, put the antenna back on, and let's actually weigh the car first and see what we're starting with. Good point. 
So Ben, what's what's your guess? How much do you think it weighs? So based on like Wikipedia and forums and stuff, people are saying like 3440, 3440 pounds. Uh, I would guess 3,445, uh, accounting for the extra rust that it's built up and, and dirt. <laughs> That's just weight reduction, man. Yeah, well, there's some water in the trunk too, which I guess we didn't show that on camera. Yeah, I don't, what's um, the fuel level? We don't know. That's, <laughs> should be a medium tank, half tank. That's just a guess, right? That's a guess. The, the, fuel, the gauge fuel gauge doesn't, doesn't work. Yeah. yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah. we didn't show that on camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Okay, I, I'd say 3550. 30, 35, 50? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go 100 pounds heavier. Okay. Oh, actually, we were both wrong. It's 34.14. Oh, it's lighter yeah. than we expected. So the rust is rate reduction. <laughs> yeah, I guess that we've lost some of the car over Dude. time. Uh, oh, and the fiberglass hood? That's a good point, actually. Yeah. I didn't account for the, the hood. I mean, that's half of the body of the car. Okay, so like, this, the size of this hood, what do you, do you <laughs> uh, the size of this hood is absurd. And like, look how far back the, the um, steering wheel is. I'm just like curious. Yeah, you want to hold that at the front? The steering wheel is over seven feet behind the front of the car. And the driver is almost 10 feet, about nine and a half feet back. What's the actual width of the car? Or width length. or length? Length, yeah. <laughs> to the rear bumper, yeah. uh, which is another foot, 16 feet. 16 feet. This dude. is 16 feet. Dude, yeah, it's like a limousine. It's crazy. <laughs> 34. Uh, we can 14. probably, we can probably take some more off of that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I think that's the easiest first step to make a car go faster is just start taking some weight off of it. Actually, you know what? That's a complete lie. Tires, I think is typically the correct answer, but. But that costs money and we don't have money. We don't have money. So if you're <laughs> trying to do it for free, just take Bang out. Bang for the buck. Yeah. <laughs> This is where the video was originally supposed to end, but big announcement, we have gone back to one video a week, which means enjoy the next 15 minutes of this video. Glass is heavy. This is gonna be good. Okay, how much does it weigh now? So now it weighs 33.96. So that was like 15 pounds. 15? Yeah. Oh, I actually expected it to be more. You know, removing interior from a car usually makes a car much worse. But in this case, it might make it better. Come on. <laughs> Man, the, the carpet is damp everywhere. Why do we keep getting cars that take on water? Look at this. Why? Gosh. Why is there so much water back here? Yeah, the, the fellow we bought it from, every time we were uh, telling him something that was like wrong with the car that we spotted, he kept telling us, no, 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 it's a good car. It's a good car. We're like the windshield is cracked. It's a good car. He It'll... wasn't wrong. It <laughs> is a good car. <laughs> yeah. St stop being mean. It's a good car. I'm not, it is a good car. <laughs> it is a good car. <laughs> Do you think that GM put duct tape back here? I don't think you should rip it up. That's for sure. <laughs> what is it? Is it a fuel pump? What? Uh, probably, yeah. Why is it? Why do? Why is this already off? Why is it so easy? <laughs> oh, spare tire! Holy smokes! It's on the side. Oh yeah, and we're what? taking this sucker out. Let's see if this will just. Oh yeah, dude. Dude, this is gonna be the easiest car we ever work on. The all the rust was a red herring. Okay, this car is actually gonna be a total gem. It's a good car. It's a good car. Uh, we might need that wheel if our other wheel is bent. <laughs> <laughs> Not in the rear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Oh, yeah. Okay, I already want to check the weight again. Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. Let's go around to the front. Dude, we're down to 33.35. We've almost taken 100 pounds We've off? We've almost taken 100 pounds off and we haven't even taken any of the like, oh my gosh. seats. Oh, this clip's in here. How does this really, oh, okay. See, I'm telling you, dude, these GMs are not bad to work on. Yeah, because they're already falling apart. That carpet goes all the way down. This is the floor carpet for the car. Couple screws in this guy. Mm -hmm. 10 mil, you think? Or a Dude, 7 you know, 16? Go, go ahead and try a 10 mil and let's figure out what is comparable. What's to the conversion 10 of a 10? Some people are commenting right now, like enraged that we don't know this. Uh, half inch is 13 mil. I know that. 7 16 I want to say is like 11 mil. Stop trying to impress the internet. 10 mil is universal. That's what I'm saying. Is, is it really? It's working. Nobody makes jokes about losing their 716. You know I mean? <laughs> 
It smells like mold. Oh man, that's a lot of water. Oh, gross. <laughs> Our water's broke. <laughs> oh, it's giving birth to <laughs> another Camaro. <laughs> Okay, dad, let's go ahead and pick this up. That's up like a 12. I don't know what the American's version of uh, 716, 716. Which is it's like 11 and a half. 11 and a half. Yeesh. People that aren't from the US are watching this and freaking out. If this is metric, I will eat a sock. Yeah, okay, that's a half inch. 3326 right now. Uh, what does it feel check, like? Check the weight. Check what, the weight. what does it feel like to you? Uh, this feels like 25 pounds. 3395. I can't do math. Wait, what? 3295? 3295. So I don't know what that 30 means. pounds? 30 pounds? Yeah. Huh. I I I might be wrong. I think the previous owner of this car cleaned it before he sold it. It's a good car, dude. It's a good car, dude. Oh, yeah. This one's wet underneath. That's wet, and this is wet. We're taking the carpet out. bigger than most cars entire interior. You're old if you know what this is. <laughs> now, if you're a passenger in a Comaro, uh, you are you got a drink, you got a cold one, you got a Bud, you got a Miller, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, you got to put it somewhere mm -hmm. on the county. You're, you're trying to do it for Dale with your hands out the T-tops mm -hmm. and you got to put your drink down. Uh, well, you got a cup holder right there. Mm. Would you just look at it? Would you look at the, the sheer American ingenuity? See, this is how we beat the British. This is, this is how we sent them packing back to Great Britain. What, what do you know about that? I think, I think BMWs have something very similar to that. Yeah, they copied it from us. <laughs> okay. I don't think I've ever seen near this level of ingenuity in an automobile. It brings a tear to my eye to have to take it out. Don't break it now. Now, I'm trying not to break it, but I'm finding that to be a rather dubious prospect. Oh, oh dear, this is this is why we can't have nice things. It's, it's on the shift boot right there. Well, no. That's that, a little bit over. There you are. Yeah, but that ain't the whole that ain't the whole now problem. You pull with back it. with it. Well, well, Ben, I'm trying to pull back with well, it. There's only but well, so you much you can. Pull up with it. I man. am pulling up with it. I think this is probably a real conversation that's happening between <laughs> two guys that talk like this. All right, and that, does that e-brake go up any higher? No. There you go. Well, I'm abusing it. I don't mean to be. Now listen here, you gotta pull back while you're pulling up. Ah, I'm trying. There you go. All right, I don't want, you don't need to be sounding <laughs> so high and mighty when you're not even the one doing the work. There you go. Roll it. Wow, look at all that padding. Yeah. Let's check the weight really quick. Oh. 3192. 3192, wow. We well, own the driver's seat now. Yeah, but that's still. Yeah. See what it looks there. like somebody peed over here. Yeah. Probably a dog. Oh, I need gloves. <laughs> Ain't no way I'm touching that wetness. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Why is there so much water? And why did they anticipate it? Oh my gosh. It's so wet under here. Yeah, same here. Really? On your side? Yeah, there's some moisture. It's not as bad, but the T-tops are definitely leaking. Oh man! Dude, this thing is like 50 pounds. Oh yeah, this is coming. coming is it? Pretty easy, yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. I love that. American cars, dude. Oh, or at least this Camaro. Up, up, up. It's what over there, too? Yeah. Dude, this is so heavy. Dude, it looks like Coca-Cola. Dude, I mean, this is going to be a ton of weight. Just don't spill it, like, on my lap, please. This is also wet. Okay.
Dude! This car is soaked. There, there's two inches of standing water. I cannot physically pick up the carpet entirely by myself. This is so much water. Dude. Why? It's a good car. It's a, it's, it's a good car. It's a good car. <laughs> it's literally just mopping the floor. We're mopping the floor. It's 3138. <laughs> Dude, 60 pounds. That's still absurd. Yeah, like 50 pounds of soaked carpet. Whoa, that's heavier than the seat. Mm -hmm. And we still have 10 pounds of water in the car. It's about a gallon, it's like eight pounds of. It is actually literally a gallon. Yeah. Wow. Step one, mop out your Camaro. Before we can do any kind of racing with the Camaro, we have to address the car's safety concerns. First and foremost, the massively spider-cracked windshield. Have you considered us just running with no windshield. <laughs> would we be allowed to? I, I mean, it would be pretty light. Uh, I we don't can take out the back glass too. I don't think we're gonna be allowed to. While we have the windshield off, it is uh, probably a good time to just do some more weight reduction. We're just gonna... Oh, we can leave the felt, maybe. <laughs> maybe not. It's like, oh yeah, there's something there. Oh, it's literally Velcro. Yeah. It's, it's... literally held in by Velcro. Come on over here, right into this trash can. <laughs> All right, so the other Ben is off getting some more parts for this car. And while he's gone, I'm gonna try to fix this steering column issue. Cause this, uh, that's not, we're not gonna drive like that. At least I'm not going to drive like that. So hopefully I can just tear apart underneath the dash and we can find maybe a loose bolt. Hopefully it's not something broken. <laughs> this is the, uh, the time period where there's probably a metal plate under here uh, because people used to hotwire cars by just pulling this panel off. Just a guess. Maybe not, it's just really thick plastic. I'm gonna take this cover off next. I don't know how this cover is on there. I have no idea what I'm doing. I fixed it. That's better, right? <laughs> it's a good car. I need to look up a YouTube video. Okay, so I found an article online. Uh, man, these late 90s cars had so many like security protections to prevent you from getting anywhere near the ignition cylinder. It looks like we have to go in this way. Uh, we have to take the airbag off anyway, because it's dead weight, but there's a bunch of stuff behind that that we have to get to to get the whole column off, which would include taking off the turn signals, the ignition lock, all that stuff has got to come out and it all kind of slides forward. And then apparently there's like a pin that's loose on the side for the tilting mechanism. That's gonna be what we're gonna have to do, which is a big time waster. It doesn't make the car any faster. First step, disconnect the battery, then jack up the car. I just steal Mighty Car Mart's jokes. That's just my, my new thing now. Something like that. Yeah, there we are. Oh, wow, that's got some heft to it. Airbags are actually really annoying to get rid of because you can't just like throw it in the trash. I've asked a bunch of people, I have like a pile of airbags at home. I asked them, what's the best way to dispose of an airbag? And they're like, hook a jumper cable up to it and blow it up in your backyard. So I have a pile of airbags. Cause I'm not doing that. <laughs> All right, we're in. We have made it to 
uh, the culprit. It is this pin right here. You'll notice it's, it's kind of sticking out. This, for whatever reason, like centers the whole column for the tilt, like shift thing, and it is known to wobble out. So the solution is we take that pin out, we cover it in epoxy, we stick it back in so that the pin doesn't fall out, and then we drill a little hole next to it and put a bolt next to it so that that bolt holds the pin in place. Nothing like epoxy and self-tappers, tried and true internet method. Well, I got the steering wheel on and guess what? It still has a little bit of play. This is uh, one of the most frustrating things I've done on a car. I have spent hours on this column and uh, not really for much result. It still wiggles a little bit. It's a lot better than it was before, but this was basically a complete waste of time. Uh, hey. Oh, hey. Got a present for you. Oh man. Yeah, so back wheels are bent on the Camaro, obviously. So one picked up some C6 wheels, got these for, guess how much money? I don't know how much. With tires, 300 bucks. All right, yeah. all right, that leaves yeah. plenty of budget left. Yeah, these are a lot bigger. They're 19s and a 275 <laughs> yeah. instead of a 245. Good. So not probably a particularly sticky tire, but I guess anything's better than what we it's have wide. right now. Yeah, yeah it's something. All right. Throw those on. Uh, and then I did also order the hot cam and some sway bars, but I have to go, okay? I'll be back in a week. That should be plenty of time for you to do a cam, sway bars, wheels and tires. And then I think we'll be in good shape to whoop up on Charles. Put the wheels on. Yep. When I get back, we should make 300 horsepower, 350. All right. Sure. Bye, buddy. See ya. Thank goodness Ben's leaving. I'm gonna return that cam and those sway bars though, cause uh, we're definitely not gonna need them. Now that Ben's gone, I can make the Camaro actually fast.